What up, family? It's your boy SNTV, man. Coming back at y'all with a news update. Actually, I'm coming back at y'all with a couple news updates. Cat Williams said something that was very important in that interview that he did with um, Shannon Sharp on Club Shay Shay. Shout out to both of them. He said that uh, 2024 will be the year of truth, man. And a lot of stuff is getting exposed or is going to get exposed um, this year. Basically, um, make a long story short, the truth is going to come to the light. And I think that so far, that's what this year has been about. And we not even in February yet. Um, of course, the old Block 5 was found guilty. That's not a surprise. I said that that would happen. I knew that was coming. Um, I'm thinking that they, that all of them probably going to get life without sentences which a life sentence in, in the feds is basically life anyway. So, you know, um, how do you do 85% of a life sentence? You know, there's only one way to EOS that, and that's death. Um, all I got to say to that is, you know, you reap what you sow, and it is what it is. Those are the results that you always going to get from the streets. You know, you can get away with something for so long, and then when you get caught, it's like, you got to pay the piper. And I always say this, you got to get away with something 365 days a year. You know, all the police got to do is catch you one time and it's over with. With a case like murder, there's no statute of limitation. So you can do it. You can, you can commit a murder and get caught 50, 60, 70 years later, man. You know what I'm saying? 30, 40 years. It don't matter. Like, when you get caught, you caught. And your life over with, you know, depending on the circumstances. So, you know, hey, uh, rest in peace, Duck, man. And rest in peace, everybody who lost their life in that war. I've also heard that Mook from Lil' Fo Mob, um, Mook was one of the older guys, you know, that was over that set in Lil' Fo Mob. Allegedly, Mook just got 60 years for sending some guys to do a hit on young Pappy at McDonald's. Now, um, in the midst of them, these young guys going to do this hit, a photographer was, you know, he was unalive in the situation. So I'm hearing that he just got 60 years. Uh, more truth coming to the light. For a long time, you know, we've always wondered about a lot of stuff dealing with the Pappy situation. You know what I'm saying? And I've heard that Lil' Fo Ma was actually the ones that took Pappy out, but I also heard that Pappy got backdoored, you know? So for somebody to get backdoored, that don't necessarily mean that PBG were actually the ones that did it. That mean that might mean that somebody just might have gave away his location. You see what I'm saying? To some of his ops. Um, in other news, man, mark my words, NLMB is facing, or it's going to end up nine times out of ten facing a federal case. Why do you say that, SNTV? Um, NLMB name has been brought up in a lot of stuff behind the scenes. And um, the guy that actually handled Trench's news when he was doing all of the snitching that he was doing, this is actually the same person that's over this you know this this drake case or this no i take that back he's actually over the shooter shells case i'm not sure who's over the drake case but i'm pretty sure that he has something to do with that case as well and i heard that nlmb lewitt got picked up for dre's murder and you can see guys on social media particularly cairo trying to distance themselves from nlmb and drench gang but um I don't know if that's going to work, y'all. You know, this is just what I'm seeing. The feds are picking up a lot of these cases. You don't go do a hit downtown and think you're going to get away with it. You don't go do a hit in front of the county and just think that they just going to lay down. You know what I'm saying? A lot of these hits are gruesome. A lot of these hits are bold, brazen. You know, a lot of these hits are way out. And the feds are stepping in like, man, you know, we tired of all of this shit that's going on in the city of Chicago. It's a lot of stuff going on, you know? So, you know, y'all keep an eye out for that. Um, 
I also heard that Big Jook's homie was paralyzed in that situation, you know, that happened with him. Uh, rest in peace, Big Jook. We all, you know, have an idea what that was about. But, um, I mean, truth be told, you can't take money to the grave with you. You can't, you can't take it to the grave with you. A lot of us want to surround ourselves with these people that, with these big names and this money. But when the bullets start flying, ain't nobody going to ask who you with, what you represent, is you riding with them or not. If you're in the area, you get sprayed too. That's just how it go. Now, I'm not sure if, you know, if this guy was actually a uh, Big Jook shooter or if he was just with Big Jook or he was just cool with Big Jook or he may have been a bystander. I'm not 100% sure on that, how that took place, but I did hear that this was an associate of CMG and Big Jook, and he ended up paralyzed. So Big Jook gone, and we got one guy, he's never going to walk again, for that matter. Um... This, I feel as though, was the biggest bombshell that I heard. Um, allegedly, I'm hearing that Big U backdoored Nipsey Hussle. Now, these aren't my words. Adam22 did an interview. Um, Y'all can go watch that interview. I'm pretty sure it's not old if you... Don't understand what's going on. I've been down. You know, I've been down for a couple of days. So this is why I'm just now wrapping this up and making one big video about it. But Adam22 did a, um interview with the guy. Uh, he's an alleged crip. And this guy actually said that he received a call saying that Nipsey Hussle was already gone 30 minutes prior to him being killed. So he said that Big U called him and told him that... Nipsey was already, you know, it was already over and done with, with Nipsey. He calls Nipsey and, you know, Nipsey answers the phone. He has a conversation with Nip. So WAC 100 was there doing this interview and WAC asked him, like, you didn't warn Nipsey or say nothing to Nipsey or nothing. And it kind of marked me as suspicious because he said something about the um, relationship between Nipsey and Big U being hot one minute and cold the next. And he didn't say nothing to Nipsey. So, I mean, that was kind of fishy within itself. But um, it's a lot going on. It's a lot of truth being exposed in 2024, man. And like I said, we not even out of the month of January yet. So, man, y'all buckle y'all seatbelts and look forward to a lot of stuff in the industry. Look forward to a, lot of, to a lot of stuff just in the streets. Look for a lot of street news to be reported this year, man. Straight from your boy. SNTV. And like I always say, never put too much trust in friends. Learn how to use enemies and try not to get slimed out. It's your boy. I'm out.